Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Tom, November Zero, Zulu Echo Tango. Uh, do a little video this morning on how you can do a little more with your handheld radio, uh, whether GMRS, uh, amateur radio, uh, more, this is directed more towards beginners um, on how to better utilize your, your handhelds. Uh, so we've got a GMRS radio here, uh, and it, one thing to remember is a lot of manufacturers, they put all their money, and I've said this before, into the actual radio. They don't put a lot of money into the antennas. They, they kind of skimp on that. Well, I shouldn't say they kind of, they do. And, but I will say, if you can hear someone... You can hear them transmitting, but you can't talk to them. Uh, there's a few things you can do. One is, we'll pop this thing off here. You can go online, and I'll leave a lot of these links in the description, and you can get a little better antenna. And put this on. And get a little more gain out of this antenna, so you should be able to receive better and hopefully transmit better. Now, none of this is a guarantee because there are so many variables involved, you know, from your surrounding, what's around you, how far away the other person is. But this is one, one fairly inexpensive way to really help improve the performance of your radio. Now, let's say you want to, you, you don't have a mobile, you just want to have your, your little HT, your handheld, and but you want something in your vehicle. Well, you can get, and and these are and once again I'll put all these links uh, in the description. Uh, here's a little uh, dual band antenna, so it'll it'll receive and transmit uh, on uh, VHF and UHF. Uh, this one is tuned for GMRS, and it's also tuned for VHF for receive, uh, because a lot of these radios have, especially the GMRS, uh, they'll have the weather frequencies in there for weather alerts, uh, aircraft receive, different things like that. So it's nice to have that. Now what's nice about this antenna is it comes with a connector that screws right into your handheld. So you can simply take this, and it's very, very thin, you can see here, uh, coax. Run this through your window, uh, through your door, uh, stick it up on top, stop top of your vehicle. And now instead of just having your antenna, which is inside your vehicle, and a lot of that signal's being blocked within your vehicle, now it's on the outside and much better than let's say a little antenna like this or even an antenna like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it, this is a very, very inexpensive, I, I won't say cheap, uh, but very inexpensive antenna. It's got a, you can see a very small magnet on the bottom for going on top. Now, if you're doing 70, 80 down the highway, I don't know how long this thing will stick up there. So it, it works, but you know what? Spend a few dollars. Now here's one. It's got a much better base on it, much better antenna on it. And it's, it's not that much more. I think you can get these $15, $20 on Amazon and this one works quite well. Good magnet, it'll stay on top of your vehicle. The only drawback with these is a little bigger coax, which is, which is a good thing, but then it's got a PL259 connector on there, which does not work on your radios. So what you can do is they sell these adapters that Simply 
screw into the antenna, and then it screws in to your radio. So you can use it. Very nice, very nice. Uh, easy to do. You jump in your car, you screw this in, and boom, you're ready to go. Now there are much nicer antennas out there with a lot of gain to them. Uh, now you're getting up into the 100, 100 plus dollar range where something like this, it, it'll work just fine for you. But then you say, well, God dang it, you know, I got this radio. I got to pick it up all the time, talk to it, set it back down. It's got the wires plugged into it. Well, a lot of them, some of them come with them, some of them don't. Just plugs in the side here. And now you've got a speaker mic, which for inside your vehicle makes it much easier to talk on. Uh, or even if you're out and about, you're hiking, you got this in your backpack, antenna sticking out, and you can have this pinned up here. You know, if you're out in the woods on your four wheeler, uh, whatever the case may be. So this is a, a really nice thing to have too. So like I say, first thing, upgrade the antenna. You're gonna get mo your most bang for the buck out of, the, out of whether it's a mag mount antenna for your vehicle, uh, or a new antenna, rubber duck, whatever you want to call them, for your handheld. Worth, worth every penny to, to get one of those. Uh, now, let's say you can, you can hear someone, you still can't talk to them, you've put the mag mount up or you've put a new antenna on, well, not so much an, an antenna like this, but you've got your mag mount antenna up there and you just can't talk to anybody. Barely, barely breaking. So there's another option here too, where, and, and you can actually put, the, if you've got an antenna up on your home, you can actually put this right here. It's a VTEC amplifier. You can actually put this and use this in your home. So you could take your handheld radio turn it into a base station. You could have this in your vehicle. You could have a mobile. And what this does is this will increase the output power from let's say five watts up to 40 watts. So you're getting, you're getting some more power to help get that signal out so people can hear you better. Uh, what I like about the B-Tech is it's very easy to use comes with a microphone. And when I say easy to use, it comes with a lot of the cords. So it comes with the connector that screws onto your radio, goes into the back of the unit here. And let's turn this on here. This, now this is a power supply to power this. So don't, don't worry about that. We're, we're concentrating on the, on the amplifier here. Then we can turn the amplifier on and then it also comes with a connector that goes in where your microphone would go. And let's see, where's the other end here? And then it simply plugs in to the front here. And turn the radio on. Welcome. And now you can use the microphone that comes on the amplifier and you can see it keys it up and I'm not transmitting out. I've got this going into a dummy load, so it's, it's not going anywhere, uh, which makes it nice. Makes, so you can take your handheld and really expand upon it and, and make it much more usable. Uh, and these amplifiers, you look for them online, uh, and I'll put once again with the link for it. You know, from 100 to 140, 150 dollars. Uh, one thing you got to be careful for is they only do UHF, or you have to get another model that will do VHF, uh, and they also have one for 220, uh, which which are very nice. And 
it they they work good, you know. It it's it saves you some money versus you go out and you buy a GMRS uh, mobile radio and you know you're putting three to five hundred to six hundred dollars out, you know. So you got depending on the type of radio you've got. Let's say we'll just use GMRS, you know. You've got and this works on here, you know, ninety dollars. Another hundred and we'll just say hundred and twenty dollars into this, and boy, you're really you're really cooking now, you know. And another twenty bucks for an antenna, so you're still under the cost of a mobile. Uh, if you got the money, get a mobile. There, it's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there are some things here. Uh, if, if you go to order, let's say like one of these adapters, this one will fit on a Yesu radio. And the other one I had is designed for more your GMS radios, like your Wuxons, your Tide radios, uh, and the, uh, the pretty popular uh, Baofeng radios. Uh, so you don't have to get a lot of different, different connectors here for them. Now one thing, you know, you, you get all this stuff and you wanna see, is it really working? Well, there, there are some things here that I really recommend, uh, you know, if you've got the spare money. Uh, and this is a dummy load, so you can, you can transmit into this, hook your coax up to it. So you don't need an antenna for testing. It just goes into this and it's not gonna damage your radio. Turn this off. Okay, another thing which is probably more important, see if I can get this to turn on. Uh, this is a uh, Surecom. Uh, this will tell you the power output from a radio. It'll tell you the SWR, the standing wave ratio for your antennas uh, to make sure they're tuned right for whatever band you're on. Uh, one thing I did a while back is, uh, and there's other folks that have done them on YouTube, is they would hook their radio up, run it into this, and then they'd have the adapters to hook up the antenna on the other side. So they could test the antenna to see how good is it? Is it really working good? And and this these little buggers will tell you, they're really inexpensive. Uh, and, and I want to say, geez, $40 for, for one of these uh, compared to some of the ones I've got in my radio room that are, uh, well, they, upwards of 500 plus uh, for some of those meters I've got. And so if you get, if you get one of these SWR meters, you know, there's all these goofy connectors uh, they make a little connector kit here you can get online, fairly inexpensive, and it's got just about every connector configuration you could think of. So you can actually connect to all this stuff, to the meter, uh, to different type antennas. It's, it's a good thing to have for, especially for doing testing. I hope I've answered a lot of questions. Um, Real basic stuff. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll certainly try and get back to you. Uh, I do answer and do check all my stuff. So with that, have a great day everybody and uh, stay blessed.